What up, what up, Wheatfield? This is your girl Lottie here at Tears and Wheat to Row Show, where you never know what you gon' get. Uh, Sasha is doing her thing under here with the camera and the tripod and all this stuff, so if y'all see it move around a little bit, you know, she doing her glam eyes in the spirit let me swirl around her shit thing so <laughs> just hang on in there with your girl rock with your girl and hopefully if you vibe by the end of this you will be ready to subscribe we are lati a channeled messenger messaging with the most high god our eternal lord of all of creation its mind the infinite intelligence and its breath the breath of life that which everything moves and connects and binds us all so we uh woke up to a whole bunch of it's friday the 13th it's friday the 13th is it really you know sometimes we just get into these things and hold on to it when it really don't mean a whole bunch of nothing a lot of it is mental you know what i mean it really is it's mental it's like okay the calendar that we look at on a daily says this and that's supposed to dictate my life in some sort of way and I'm like eh, release that that's I mean I have a beloved who made a reel about letting go stupid stitions I thought that was kind of hilarious I wouldn't necessarily well I guess we could call him that but we probably wouldn't because it don't sound very nice sometimes the shit we say don't sound very nice so uh Oh, did we give our disclaimer? I don't think we did. I don't think we said, welcome, y'all's wheat. Welcome to the wheat field. How y'all doing? If you knew, if you knew, welcome to you, too. What up, my wheat? Yeah, we already told you that we are channel messenger, but what we didn't say is that we are not religious. We are highly spiritual. We study world theologies and all the ologies and all the and x and physics and metaphysics and all that shit, you know. And we bring all the pieces of creation together because we basically can read creation, and that's just what it is. The Father will come down and tell me something to say, and we will get a download, and we will say it. We will scribe. The Father knows how to write. Yes, made me ambidextrous. I'm telling you, I didn't do that before. Anywho, yeah, uh, and whatever it says, scribe, I will say. And then we be on all about our way. We do read cards, we got cards, we got crystals, we got texts, we got, yeah, you know, again, we read creation. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm not really great with the Roman numerals. They, they numerals, yeah, yeah, the, those. We fuck around and call the number wrong, but we read the energy right. So, and if we say something that's not aligned with the Father, Father will bring us back in line and put us on the right path. It's okay. Go with your girl. Go with the flow. It could start slow, like that old school Crisco, you know? And we had to get it out the can, put it in the pan. And most high come in and put his heat on it. You know what I mean? Put the heat on, and we get to cooking. We don't always know what we cooking. We don't. It could be, you know, dropping some nuggets, frying, you know? We could be sauteing some shit where it's real slow. Put it on simmer and just let that thing go. But whatever it is. Is, it's always something edifying and good for the soul, you know, because the first thing is to edify self so that I can edify the source because heaven has come to earth to do a work, all right, in this own earth and in earth to do a work. And so are you, my wheat, you the wheat. We were called for good bread. So I want to serve that out to you so that you could be edified, so you could edify the source. And when we come together over these principles, beloved, yes, we magnify ourselves, raise ourselves up so that we the wheat can edify the source because that's what it is and that's how it be so if y'all ready for the ride let's get into it my wheat yes welcome to the wheat field all right I had to get that sip we rising and shining today y'all rise and shine i'm out of my homemade whipped cream was too lazy to go and make some mo huh didn't feel like doing none of that didn't even feel like putting on no whole clothes we just threw on some comfortable okay we just going over to the work at home desk we ain't wasn't trying to get all of that fancy with you know we barely made the bed. We just threw the covers back. We was like, uh, we just gonna pull this on up. We didn't even get down in there and straighten everything up. So I wonder what kind of flow we gonna be in today. We see that there's some snow coming down too. Mm. I feel like we may wanna just 
cozy up with something and me i wish i ain't got no boobs so we can't do that you know but i mean me and the most high i know we oh yeah daddy look okay but we was talking about on facebook the fact that today is friday the 13th okay so let's see we got january 13 2023 when you break all that down it really adds up to a five so you could see a little conflict today you could i'm just saying let me make sure my math is math because i feel like i did that right i did i feel like it yeah because we got a one and a one and a three and a two and a zero and a two and a three one and one is two two and three is five that's a five. Oh, maybe i am so that's a 12. Yep, that's a 3. That's what I say. So, are you going to stand here and just hold your vision? Wonder what kind of ships is going to come in. Let's just see. Maybe it's a day for envisioning. Dreaming. Father pulled this out in the dream cards in our reel for Facebook. It says miracles happen all the time. Open your mind up to miracles. Are you envisioning a miracle? Are you seeing something in your mind's eye today? Like that's the energy according to the date, right? So you could start experiencing miraculous coincidences. And we know that there's really no such thing as coincidences. No. Coincidences are just life synchronicity the intelligence of the most high designs and syncopates all things it does so if you are experiencing you know some happenstance stuff some things that's like wow that's just coinky dink know that it is the infinite intelligence at work is doing its thing you know and it works in certainty and uncertainty so today is one of those uncertain type of energetic days. Allow yourself to be open. Allow yourself to kind of just let it be what it be. I wouldn't make no, you know, commitments to anything, but just see it. Just see it. We got the three and one energy. You know what I mean? People coming together. Again, uh, vision. Are you going to stand there and wait on your ships to come in, or are you going to move on? Are you going to wait? Are you going to have a vision? Three of coins, who you're working with, who you align with, partnership, collaboration, all that goodness. Three of cups. Now, that could be celebratory, you, your boo, and somebody else, too. I mean, y'all could be on that Gabby D. Way, Way, that Jada, Will type of energy. Do you? Ain't no judgment over here. Just saying. Or you can find out that somebody else is up in your energy field. Now that might be a, be a thing. And then you got to figure out whether or not, you know, which way you're going to flow. What does your vision say? Again, it's the energy of three. Who or what has made you believe that for some reason or another, you don't have what it takes to follow your dream? Ooh, ooh. Wouldn't we just say vision and vision? We did. Get that on up in there and put that in your chakra while we take a sip. Mm-hmm. Get that back in focus. We working on the cell phone thing. Go with your girl. Who or what has made you believe that for some reason or another, you don't have what it takes? So maybe you are in that three and one energy where you like just standing there waiting to see your ships come in and see if these boats gonna come in. Maybe you done put in that two and one, the planning and all of this stuff, got into some action, got into some movement, and now you got to wait for stuff to come in. We was in that energy. Yeah, we uh, we are in that energy. We building this thing. You know, we getting them in one week at a time. Come on in here, my week. Thank you for connecting with your girl Lot here at the Wheat field tears and wheat to roast show. Well, you sure enough never know what you gonna get. I can't always tell you because I damn sure don't be knowing myself. I mean, we get the downloads from the father to tell us which way we gonna move. We put the father in the front, bam, and that's what it is. Father lead and go forward. It ain't me. To what? No. And it's only been a couple of months. I mean, like five months maybe since August. Yeah. So you could see how far you can grow if you just stand there and wait and be fixed on your vision that three of wine energy 
You will come together with people that you will collaborate with. That three of coin energy coming into alignment. Three of cups, being able to celebrate. I mean, I say me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. It's what I found out. Because when you, you got to support you. Like, seriously. You have to support you you have to be your biggest cheerleader you have to be your biggest motivator you have to be your own accountability partner sometimes you just have to get into your own ass because can't nobody kick your ass the way that you do like seriously oh did we tell y'all we cuss too yeah because words is just words i mean we not vulgar or profane but the shit's do come out just saying roll with it okay yeah sometimes you just have to really be that for yourself because what if it that you didn't have people like that in your life to do that i mean you may not have had a lot of friends if you are duckling like me flying between worlds like it ain't a whole bunch of people that fly in the same space that i fly if you were eagle Floating on the wings of the storm. Hello. It ain't a whole bunch of birds up there that fly with the eagle. It's not. I mean, because in this day, it's a whole bunch of what they call them chicken heads. What? What? I'm not saying that that's you, my wheat. But uh, come on now. A lot of us are flying in our own circle. And I see so many sis or real sis. I mean, it don't matter what the shade is. Chocolate is chocolate. They come in a range, okay? And I love all chocolate. White chocolate, brown chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, all of it. It don't matter to me. Chocolate is chocolate, not shade. So, it's a whole bunch of us sis out here. Folks, period. I ain't gonna leave my bras out looking for real folks. Like, I want to find somebody real to hang out with, somebody that like to be outdoors, somebody that like to, that's into spirituality, somebody that's positive and upbeat, somebody that's looking to expand themselves, multiple streams of income, getting that queen of coins on, you know, because it's not a whole lot of people that's in that space. It is, but then it ain't, you know what I mean? Because in the general population, it's a whole bunch of folks that's really just following along with the crew, with the blind follow for follow for follow for follow, just gain followers for the sake of saying follow me. But what am I following? We just saying. Might want to think about your vision. What did you plan? Because it's a whole lot of content creators. But a lot of them ain't doing nothing but watch other motherfuckers who done created some shit. Like seriously. How do you get on here? I'm not knocking nobody hustle. Do you? If it works, huh? But I'm not, you know, really into the one that sit there to watch somebody else sitting there where they watching somebody else doing something and you commenting on who's watching the other person doing what i need to step on that let's let's rise let's raise ourselves up let's rise so we can shine because that's i know father life is meant to be lived beloved live it sit up here watching all these other folks live life come on now it's 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 creation to experience creation whoo uh last night we had an experience let me tell you so i do everything in the spirit as i said we skate y'all so we've been watching all the videos of like the skate dancers because we want to learn how to skate dance like dance on our skates that is a deep heart desire keeps you in shape too but i mean you talking about the inner thigh root coordination and strength you got to have to dance and balance yourself on them tippy toes with the toes like this to do this and spin on your toes or spin on your back wheels what we bit the dust we did it twice we did it twice we did it twice but we woke up this morning and we are not sore so that's a miracle right there how that was a miracle father said that was down in there uh yeah but it was fun to see, like, and I'm talking about the spirit would stop me, like, look, I would think I'm doing something to get in the group, like, hey, come on, and jump out first, spirit be like, nope, stop, skate, stop, <laughs> and spirit be like, no, I, I'm leading you, because you don't even know what you're doing yet, and then would take me through the process of showing me the body mechanics of how and what muscles to engage, and it really took the time with me to show me okay this is a place in, in the vessel that we need to strengthen so that we can fulfill this desire so even though i could see it we planning it we pro we, we practicing this thing out there is a space between we get to the 
two, which is the plan that we was looking at it mentally, getting the visual down. Okay, I could see how they do that. I could see their body mechanics. I could see how they move their feet, the position of the skate, like turning the skate, turning that hip all the way out, your hip and your shoulders and chest alignment, everything following. I could see it, right? And then Spirit put me on the skates, and we started off on the rug, you know, just so we don't, we have control over the road, don't for sure kill ourselves. And when we kind of got the feeling of that body mechanic, we rolled the rug up, pushed the stuff back, and we're in a little bitty room space. So it's not like we're doing a whole bunch of roll around, no, it's real controlled in a controlled environment. And I could sit there and I could feel the flow of my body and what spirit was trying to do with me. And and whenever I got ahead of the spirit again, you know, spirit was like, pull me back, beloved. Stop. I would even go so far as to get ready to turn one way and spirit was like, no, that's, I wasn't going that way. We was going this way. You know, feel the flow, the natural flow like the flow of the back and forth of which way, you know, my skates was turning and then whoop, flip me all around. I'd be like, whoop, I didn't even know we was ready for that. So you're like, ha ha, I'm taking you. So it ain't no coincidences. Sometimes you go through the process and you just naturally allow the spirit to flow in front of you. And before you ready, spirit be like, let's go and shock you. Like you didn't even know you was ready for that just yet, but you're going. Yeah, and, and it could it feel a little nervous, like, ooh, Spirit, hold on, you got me? And Spirit was like, I got you. Just trust. Trust me, beloved. Who or what has made you believe that for some reason or another, you don't have what it takes to follow your dream? Who has made you feel that you don't have what it takes, beloved? with the father that created all of creation like the lord of all host it's infinite intelligence in the breath that moves and animates you you get tapped in who says that you don't have what it takes you have everything you are made from the infinite intelligence of the all like in everything is now you have a library back here you have spirits baked in beloved like you were made from the all everything everything your vessel holds everything the intelligence that's within the fact that you can look at something and your your body learns just from you seeing it because you don't have to do it physically to learn it you can practice it looking at it in your mind. Okay, I see it. I'm focused on that. I'm focused. I see it. I see it. I see it. And then when you get up to actually move, you know, practicing them body mechanics, telling your body, showing it what to do, telling it to heal, telling your body to heal itself. I am healed. I am healed. I am healing. I am health. I am healing. I am health. You can control pain with your mind. Your body has pain receptors throughout all of it. And there's little bitty doors and opening ways, you know, pathways for pain to follow. For you to read the fact that you are in pain. Reading your vessel. Listening to its language. But you can speak back in your mind and tell the pain to go away, to shut it down, to close the door to your pain. You can do it. You can change your mental state. You can. You can meditate and see yourself as a whole different you. And if you see yourself as a whole different you, beloved, then that's you. Instant actualization instant now what you experience in your environment may ain't gonna change instantly but you've already changed once you made it up in self that you changed in your heart your heart space just like that change what you see in your heart change what you be 
in your heart. You change what you express on the outside. It works just like that. Somebody might have considered you to be a liar. And that's what you were if you were lying. I mean, it ain't no shame in that, no judgment. Because you could be, you know, a truth speaker. Just like that. We cotton out. We, we, we don't count what was in the past. We count that not. Everything is now. If I'm a truth teller right now, then that's what I am. I tell the truth all the time. Why? Because what's the point of lying? I'm just lying to me. And I love me too much to lie to me. I do. I am be, again, be my own accountability partner. My own cheerleader. My own counselor. My own financier. My own marketeer. Okay. It, what Everything that you need is already built, is built in, is baked in. The comfort and connectivity, you can get that from self, you can. But of course we love to be touched. The human sensitivity, that touch, everybody loves that. We do, because we are creationist whole. You know, again, like the color purple. Uh, I think uh, uh, of it, the flowers get mad if you don't notice them. I do. I mean, who, who, who doesn't want to be noticed? Creation is here. And we ride around in this vessel with the eight wonders so that we can experience creation, so that we can see it, so we can touch it, so we can feel it, we can have sensation. We can, we can sense our emotions, and it can speak to us like we can speak to self. The universe speaks to us. We converse. It's a cycle of giving and receiving the flow. So there's no coincidence, beloved. No, there's not. Everything is in the flow and everything is flowing now. And if you ever want to talk about the how, it's nothing but the infinite intelligence of the all. The mind of our eternal Lord of all of creation and blesses us with the flow, that breath of life, that rhythm. The breath says, dare to dream a little bigger, dare to ask for a little more, a little more, not because everything should be bigger, but for you to see where your limits are. So who told you you couldn't be what you want to be? Who told you that you couldn't be? what you want to be. With the infinite intelligence, the breath of life from our eternal Lord of all makes all things possible. All things made it possible for your light to ride around in a vessel to experience the five senses, touch, taste, smell, sight, hearing. Then you have emotion your guidance system. You have your intuition. Your spirit can speak to you, can speak to you. You have the grand cosmic mind, connects us all. All of creation is called from that intellect. Who said what is not possible? Dare to dream a little bigger. Dare to ask for a little more, a little more. Not because everything should be bigger, but for you to see 
where your limits are. And I believe that you are unlimited. That you are limitless. You are limitless, beloved. Father, put it in a challenge because we don't dream big enough. Maybe you don't see yourself big enough, beloved. Again, do you know that you are made from everything? Do you know that you are the Son of God? Do you know that you are called by the Father, the infinite, the eternal Lord of creation that made everything? And when I say everything, I mean everything. We are looking at a planetary alignment that hasn't happened in wheat. And when I say beautiful, I mean all of our cosmic bodies, these planets in this year, Milky Way, lined up. The energy is amazing. It's not a coincidence. This is a space to see what is your vision. Are you dreaming big enough? Them three of wands, can you see it? Are you waiting on it? Are you planning? Are you seeing who's coming to you and with you to collaborate with those three of pentacles? Who are you going to work with, beloved? Those three of cups, who's going to celebrate with you? Are you celebrating with you? Me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. That's three cups, beloved. Because if I say that my spirit self and the most high God is my first two cups, what? Then this right here, the manifest itself, oh, that's number three. And we come into alignment with that to who? Oh, that's a celebration. Me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. That's what I found out. Because when you go up out, this piece is going to be the same way that you came in by yourself. Me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. Mm. And it ain't no need to cry. I took a vow that from now on, I'm going to be my own best friend. That ain't no I don't need nobody else song. That's remembering your foundational self song and never letting that go for nobody or for nothing. To realize that the Father, the infinite intelligence, the infinite intelligence, the Father, the Lord of all creation, its mind, its breath, those three, come on now. Because that's what you made out of. You just a pixel of it. You just a piece. And I thank the Father for the peace that is me. Ashe, say that again. Because you are made from those three. The infinite, the eternal, Lord of creation. It's mind, the infinite intelligence, and it's breath. Who? Come on now. You are made from those three. Me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. Ooh, Father, tell them what they are. You are a pixel of the Most High God. And I thank thee for the peace that is me. Ashe, do you thank them for the peace that is you. Let your light shine, this little light of mine. You did. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. Rose me up and shined all oh, everywhere I go. Come on, y'all. We got to do it. What other time is it but now? It's always now. Let's raise ourselves up so we can do what we were designed to do, to shine. Rise and shine, my wheat. Rise and shine. Let's get it. Get that sip. See, I told y'all I'm half cocked. I got my little coffee warmer thing here, but I ain't even turn it on. It's, I'm wondering, like, why my coffee getting cold? I didn't put no heat on this thing. <laughs> Probably we didn't stop and pray either. No, so we sure didn't put no heat on it because we didn't pray. But I feel the spirit is always here. You, you know it. That's right. That's right, Father. That's right. Father, who? Uh-huh. The infinite intelligence. And, ooh, we knew the breath was here. Breath of life. Yes. 
Holy Father, thank you for the infinite, eternal Lord of all creation. Thank you so much for being here with us. Yes, yes, yes. I know that you are always, 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 always with me. And I thank you for using me as your willing, surrendered vessel so that creation can experience creation. Yes. The peace of you that is me. Thank you so much for allowing me to see allowing me to hear, allowing me to smell and taste creation, yes, to feel it, to have sensation, to understand the emotion, my connectivity to it, to feel it in my heart, yes, yes, yes. Thank you for my spirit speaking to me, to guide me, to let me know what it is for discernment, yes, discern the plane, and thank you for coming to sit on the throne, the throne of my praise, my crown, your seat. Yes, Father, thank you. Thank you for the connection to your mind, the great cosmic mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of these things on to edification for self so that I may serve you, edify you. For heaven has come to earth to reside in earth and on earth to do a work, a work that we would remember not. And as we come into remembrance, we thank you for those three of wands energy. Yes, Father, to hold the vision. Hold the vision that has been given to us from our desired, our heart space, our intuitive mind says that we can do it. And we need to believe it. Pull out that infinite intelligence to know that all things are possible. All things are possible through who? You. That fills us with your breath and your intelligence, that intuition. Thank you. If we would just have the courage and the might to stand strong and to act and to believe. To do what? To dream. Dream a little bit bigger, beloved. To dream. Dream. Dare to dream. Life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Dare to dream a little bigger. Dare to ask for a little bit more. Not because everything should be bigger, but for you to see where your limits are. You are limitless. You are unlimited. You want this? You want anything else in this deck? You know? I love y'all. I love y'all. I love doing this. Ah! You want to read that? Okay, that's the energy. When faced with new situations or people, don't compare yourself. Don't. Don't compare yourself. Your life or your place to theirs. Instead, say, interesting. This allows your mind to be open instead of closed off and self-pity. Ooh, we just said that recently. We did. We did. When sit faced with new... Mm -hmm. Do you want to read it again? Mm -hmm. When faced with new situations or people, don't compare yourself, your life, or your place to theirs. Instead, say, interesting. Just see it. Hmm. That's interesting. This allows your mind to be open instead of closed off in self-pity. Does somebody have some self-pity? Feeling like what they are looking at, what they're desiring, what they are envisioning is not going to come in. Waiting on those ships can be difficult. There's a space in that waiting where you feel like it might not happen. It's not going to come. You may be looking at other people's ships come in and seeing how they are working, how are they collaborating. And the success is that celebratory sip, clink, 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 you know, three of cups. You might see them celebrate. You might see them collaborate while you are still standing there waiting for your shit. So don't compare yourself to them. Be like, oh, that's interesting. If anything, you can go further and be like, hey, touch and agree. Touch and agree. Yes, because you're calling in that energy, your energy. Activate it, yes. Be open. All possibilities are as open to you as they are to others. Yes, beloved. We attract what we are. Therefore, dreaming is a journey within. Me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. Where's your vision set? 
on the inside first. What do we start off with our whole little thing? We said we were skating in the spirit and we've been watching them because we envisioning. I don't be like, oh, I can't do that. I never do that. So no, call back those words, call them back, call them back, call them back, call them back. Bind them, bind them, bind them, bind them up and cast them down, beloved, huh? And anything that I might speak out that cause an error to my life, we call that back. My word back onto myself as they belong to me. That energy belongs to me and I bind it up. I bind it up according to the power are the most high yes and i cast that down because all things are possible so i could look at that thing and be like oh snap go my atl rollers shot town in the house what up detroit what up looking at where my peeps skating at in the d where i grew up skating at i'll be like oh that was me when i was a kid we could get it and it don't matter what my uh maturity is in this day uh, no. We still get on them skates and we know we can slay. We sit up there, we be like, oh, I see how they did that. I see how they move their feet like that there. Ooh, that look good. Don't it look, ooh, spirit, we could do that. Oh, that look like our vibe right there. We could, oh. And what spirit do? Say, come on, let's get on up in here and practice while we waiting on, uh, this winter time for, we can't get out there and roll around in the street because it's snowing. But we sure got a little space down there, huh? Roll that rug. First, we started on the rug, cause you know what I'm saying. We want to. We got to get the body mechanics and get the, you know, see what that thing feel like in the, in the vessel, in the spirit. Get the muscles to flow in that way and tell them this is what you need to do. Okay, cause they learn just like. Mm, mm. And when I tell you, not even an hour later, your girl was up in there swirling and the swishing. I'm talking about on uh, the two when they do the, the toe uh, here and on the heel there, the balance that. Oh, yeah. Spirit was saying you got to this, these muscles, these muscles, these muscles. Hold it. Position. You know, huh. Hmm. We attract what we are. Therefore, dreaming is a journey within. What inner beliefs are still restricting you? Again, Father say you don't dream big enough. You're not dreaming big enough, beloved. Maybe you don't believe in you. Again, you are made by the infinite intelligence itself. When God said, our Father, I mean, whatever text you read, Father made creation, he did. And it said, let there be light. Your light was called first. Your light is immortal. Your light don't go nowhere. Your light is traveling. It's journeying through this thing called creation. Okay? It is on a mission to do what? To get back to the Father. You got to match your energy. You got to tune it. You got to tune your frequency. We here in this plane to learn to tune ourselves. You know, like somebody tune up a piano. They tune up a guitar. It's a rhythm that's a flow to this thing. It's a frequency. And to tune your frequency is a whole thing. So how are you polarizing yourself? Okay, we are electromagnetic beings. We have a polarity. We have a charge. And you, if anybody knows anything coming from your south node to your north node, that south node, that negativo, that last cycle node, and to raise yourself up into a positive, to go from that charge to this charge is a whole thing. And it starts up in here. What are you thinking? That determines your polarity. Do you believe? that you are everything do you dream big enough are you limiting yourself are you looking at others in their process and what has come to them in their own manifestation and judging yourself according to the fruits of their work that's the whole thing beloved again this whole friday 13th thing people make up in their mind that it's a certain kind of day and their thoughts and their energy impact what comes on to thee there is no such thing as coincidences cognizant attention focus all the time beloved let's get it we attract what we are therefore dreaming is a journey within what inner beliefs are still restricting you putting you down and making excuses that hold you back from your dreams. We hadn't even read the rest of the cards yet. Come on with this thing, Father. What's putting you in a holding spot? What's delaying your ships from coming in? What's delaying your ships? I mean, because you get really good at this thing. You could be like, oh, planted ship right there. Boom. There it is. And if it ain't, it's in short order, like this, popping them off, popping them off, popping them off. 
Are you tuned in? Are you focused? Do you believe? When faced with new situations or people, don't compare yourself. Don't. Don't compare you. At all. You and your own journey, you your own light, you your own manifestation and everything in your own time. Divine timing. Keep that. Your own time. You decide when you're ready to receive anything. I believe the oracle told Neil that something similar. Oh, it'll come when you're ready. You ain't ready yet. Your mind says that you're not ready. Your mind will make up all kinds of excuses and reasons as to why you cannot have, why you're not good enough, why that's too big for you, why uh, it's for them and not for you. And put yourself in a self-pity state. We call back our words, call back our words, call back our words. We bind them, 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 and cast them down, cast them down. The power of the tongue speak life onto you always. Hmm, that's interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. Mm, that's interesting. Still is interesting. Still open. Asha, dare to dream a little bigger. Dare to ask for a little more. Not because everything should be bigger. Because guess what? Everything is now. There's no such thing as when. When this. When that. Oh, I. When. Uh, and when. And oh, and when. Everything is now. I am. I am now. I am. I am that I am now. 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 I am. I am. Ooh, I can feel it in my kingdom every time I say it. I am. I am that I am. Moses said, Father, who am I that, that they should follow me? Who should I say sent me? Father say, the I am that I am sent thee. I am that I am. And I am Lati from Tears and We to Row Show, your favorite channel messenger. I say, come on with this thing. Not because everything should be bigger, but just so you can see what your limits are. I'm limitless. You are limitless, my beloved. Mm. And we're going to get this last one right here just because we glanced over and it says, I say, that's what we just said. Come on, daddy. Tell them what it is. Tell them what it is. Tell them what it is. Because they believe but they don't believe. Father, they believe but they don't believe. It's a conflict between your belief and your unbelief. And today, have a little faith on your belief. Raise that up. Raise your belief up because you designed to shine, beloved. You the wheat. Did you not know that you was the wheat? We started that. You the wheat and you called for good bread. So raise up so that you can shine, beloved. Let's get it. Instead of making excuses and telling yourself why you can't do it or why it's not possible, Hashe, ask yourself, what if it is? What if it is? Do you know that it is? Woo, Father, what if it is? Can you put some faith on that? Put some faith on your fear. Raise that up. What if it's possible? For you to rise all the way up like that and be shining, 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 yeah. Look at this winning. Oh, creation, experiencing creation. What if it's possible? What? Take a little sip on that. What if it's possible, beloved? Ooh, what if it's possible? It's possible, y'all. I could cry right now because you don't know. If I could tell you what I feel when I was skating in the spirit and I could feel the spirit stop my skate, position my legs, straighten up my body posture, it's possible. It's possible. We often dream too small. We tell ourselves what we are. You tell yourself what you are. You are everything. Break your chemical composition down of this beautiful, wonderful vessel and tell me you're not everything. That it is not perfectly integrated, system upon system upon system. That it does not speak. That you don't have a spinal column that would make the internet highway look like a rock system. 
Come on now. This right here that you ride around, beloved, is magnificent. You talking about uh, these two right here that don't see fuck shit? What do they do? They pick up light energy. This right here, pick up sound resonance. Come on now. This right here, we smell and taste with our mind. Everything is in the mind, beloved. You create your own reality. You create it. You manifest it. And you are a pixel of the Most High God. It's infinite intelligence. You are peace. Filled with the breath of life. Animated. Yes. Thank the Father for the peace of thee that is he. You get a chance to experience creation. All of it. You get to see the sun, the rain, the moon, the stars. The mountains and the rivers, I saw heaven when I seen love to you. This night. <laughs> Come on, y'all. I told you I sing all the love songs on to the most high. Because that's the only one that can really do that. Come on, now. Who can help me see heaven? I wouldn't be able to see it happen if, if I wasn't in a vessel with these two eyes that could bring in all this light energy and discern it in the mind and put the pieces together. And we all see it together because we speak the same language. We are connected. We are connected. And it's beautiful. And it's possible. Because all things are possible. Through the Father. Through the infinite intelligence. Connected and binded and moves by the breath of life. Will you let it move you? Can you look at us and say, interesting. We pray you can. We pray you can buy it. And if you did buy it, subscribe. And if you care about it, share it out. Sharing is caring. And if you want to come back on a daily and get this bell, all you got to do is hit the bell. And leave me your thumbprint too. It helps me pick up on you. Ashe. So until the next now with on the tears and we to row show where you show sure enough never know what you're gonna get with this girl right here, the infinite, the intelligence, and filled with the breath. We're gonna call this an Ashe. Mm.